me from inside the paint now. Jackson against White. He dishes it to Williams. It's stolen by Adams. Jackson gets to Adams. For the lead. And the layup by Jackson. Jackson's got the lead up to two now for Memphis. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And it's Williams finishing it off. Great game for him. Double, double down. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Here's Morant after the basket by Boston. Adams with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Adams, the pass to Williams. Brown against Bain. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Beyond the meaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Now here's White. Six points for him. And Derek White picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Outside Jackson passes to Clark. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Clark's got 14. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Tatum no good. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Memphis. The lead is two. And that one's good by Clark. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. For Boston, they've gone a somewhat so far 4-10 on their shots in the second half so far. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The second half has it gone nearly as well. For him. And he'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing as this game progresses. Marcus Smart's checked in for Memphis. Here's Morant. He's got 24. Break, they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. Boston trails by four. Brown outside. Over Jackson. Brown finds William. Shot clock at five. Looking to get back on track here. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the fouls. Yeah, easy call. First, foul. First team foul. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far? For the I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. Conchars checked in for Bain. The Celtics also changing it up. Williams, he's checked in for Robert Williams. And Brogdon subbed in for White. So he gets them both. Memphis leading. Morant gets to Smart. Pass to Jackson. Now here's Morant. Excellent D there from Williams. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. And for Memphis, their shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Here's Conshaw. A shot. No good. Good D by Williams. Now here's Tatum. He's got 19. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, they've handed their lead right over this quarter with the turnover. Max Truce has checked in for Boston. Boston. 
Morant against Brogdon. And then Morant rams it in. And that's impressive. Mor and take charge attitude is what makes him so special. To the inside, Williams, and it's Williams with the jam. Yes, those plays Malcolm can make a Brogdon. difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. No, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Memphis has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And it's Morant. That time on the assist from Smart. Morant's got the lead up to four now for Memphis. Austin's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Oh, Marcus Smart, a tenacious defender, which doesn't always show up, I think, sometimes, Doris, on the statistical sheet after the game. Well, and in fact, Kevin, different teams have different defensive metrics trying to measure that impact. What do, though, with Marcus Smart is watch the guy work on that end. The way he tracks the play, the way he anticipates, just the energy he brings on the defensive end changes the equation. Boston trails by four. 14 feet away. Here's Williams. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Now here's Jackson. Seven points in the game. A three from Morant. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his third assist on the night. The pass to Struce. In against Morant. Stolen by Smart. Outside Williams. And it's Morant at the elbow. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three point play. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter. Looking to extend the second team foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Some changes for Boston. Williams comes in for Grant Williams. And Derek White subbed in for Max Struess. One shot. So White will bring it up for the Celtics. Eight-point game. Brown, Jaylen good. Brown. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Smart. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Smart's got nine points. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Williams. He's got nine. Williams in the post. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Morant. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Boston trails by eight. Pass to Williams. He kicks to Brown. Back to Williams. Launches a three. Drills it from outside. 12 points for him. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. It keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. Here's Conchar. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Smart misses. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. 55 seconds left to play in the third. Morant against White. Outside Williams. Just five to shoot. All three off the mark. Memphis leading by five. 
Here's Conchar. Here's the teardrop. And that's two points on the way. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. Level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And that one falls for White. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Steven Adams comes in for Jackson. And it's Rose in for Smart. And both free throws good for White. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. High arcing shot, and it's Morant missing. It's Williams high post. He's got 12. Good. Williams. Morant outside. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for the Grizzlies. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And we'll be right back after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. With three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got Adams, John Morant, he's out there with Derrick Rose. Then it's Williams, and it's Bain in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team schemes. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Morant. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Outside Tatum to the middle. There's Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Now, here's Adams. Now, Williams. Lock at six. This is it to Morant. And finished off by Morant. And how about that display of athleticism by Morant flying up in the air for the jam? We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Right the pass to Tatum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Steven Adams picks one up. Well, you like the level of aggression right there from Jason Tatum. Committed to scoring on the interior and draws the contact. First free throw is good. That 
one misses, so he goes one for two. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Morant's against White. Morant passes to Adams. Left side, Brown. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Now, here's Bain. Adams down low. Working on Williams. Adams dishes to Morant. Stolen by Brogdon. The kick out to Brown. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Here's Williams. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensive yeah, nothing foul. too fancy. Jaylen Just Brown. getting the job done when Second they need to foul. make every First possession foul. count. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Austin also with the sub. Williams, he's checked in for Brogdon. And that one falls for Williams. Here's White. Kicks to Tatum. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Jason. The shot's good. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Here's Morant. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Banked in off the glass. Morant's got 42 in the game. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. It's stolen by Adams. Jackson kicks to Morant. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Williams. Back to White. Williams against Tatum. Outside White. over Morant. No good off the back of the rim. Memphis leading by nine. Outside Williams. Out to Morant. Takes the three. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. Adams the pass to Morant. And stolen by White. Here's Williams. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Memphis. The dish to Morant. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And going up strong inside demonstrates confidence. Morant not afraid to get physical. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Free throws, good from Morant. Boston trails by 11. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Down low, Williams. And it's slammed Williams. in by Williams. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass in the pick and roll? That's nice. 
Moran kicks to Bain. Pass to Adams. Moran's against White. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Shooting for Memphis. John Morant at the line Find for the one. Find the lane. What's up? White with it. Outside Tatum. Driving inside. Inside. Fouled on the shot. Picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. One falls for Tatum. Memphis leading by nine. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Make some noise for your Memphis dancers. sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Memphis's head coach had some words for the team during the break. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. See if they were listening, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And it's slammed in by Williams. Is a budding prospect. I like whenever Williams shows that determination on offense, and it looks like he wants to just take over. Now, here's Adams. Here's Morant. And again, that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Just rubbing it in their faces with that. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off a bat. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Dog team officials are all over that one. Shooting for Boston, Derek White taking two shots. The first one drops. And both 
free throws. Good for White. Here's Morant. There's the pass to Bain. And Adams kicks to Morant. On the wing, Jackson. Back to Morant. And finished off by Morant. A, a solid distributor. Andrew Jackson is gifted at reading defenses and then being able to spot the open team. Now here's Williams. And they call an illegal screen here. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Memphis leading by nine. Grant dishes to Jackson. Pass to Bain. Memphis moving it around. And here's Morant. Williams with the block. White looking around. Going inside. And White with the stuff. Off the dribble drive slash Derek White. Boy, I'll tell you what, taking no prisoners on that finish. In the corner, it's Bain. Adams outside. Jackson against Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. And on that drive, Jackson so forceful, which helps him draw the foul there while taking the contact. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Free throw is good from Jackson. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston on the wing ground. Williams trying to break free. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. Steven Adams picks one up. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Free throw good from Brown. Here's Morant. Adams outside. Dishes it to Williams. The rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. Right side, White. Williams against Jackson. Williams passes to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Just three to shoot. And finished off by Williams. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again. And that's the result of the work put in. And the Grizzlies with possession here after the basket by Boston. The Grizzlies with another miss. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Tatum finds White. Here's Williams. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jaron Jackson. Shooting for Boston, Patrick Williams. Two shots.
And he can't get the first one. Smart's checked in for the Grizzlies. Second free throw, good. And so here's Memphis. Three-point lead. Bain passes to Jackson. Now here's Adams. Jackson looking around. Driving the lane. Up and in on the way. And the Grizzlies lead by five. And don't forget his dad played in the NBA as well. So Jackson probably grew up getting bumped all the time trying to score in the backyard. A shot. No good. Adam, some nice D. White against Smart. Count the basket and the foul. White. And so he's picked up his final foul. Derek, you will sit for the rest of this game. Personal foul. 15 foul. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but, but hate to play against. <laughs> yeah, and teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Jackson against Williams. Jackson kicks to Smart. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. You know what I love is Marcus Smart just continues to improve. We know he's a powerful athletic guard, but he wants to keep building different aspects of his game. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Austin making a switch here. Pritchard's checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Austin trails by eight. Williams passes to Pritchard. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The line for two. First one at the line is good. He hits both from the stripe. 
Memphis leading by six. Timeout call the Grizzlies. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy foul. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, John Morant. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. deciding where to go with it. Adams outside. Back to Smart. Five. The shoot. Williams finds Jackson. The Grizzlies with another miss. Boston trails by six. Shoots from 14. And too long on the shot. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Passes it to Tatum. Contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, this guy is used to scoring in tight situations with bodies around him. How about Jason Tatum maintaining his concentration? John Moran, he's checked in for Marcus Smart. One shot. Falls for Tatum. And so Morant will bring it up for the Grizzlies. They've held a 12 point lead early. Outside, Bain. Adams outside. Back to Bain. A three ball. A rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Richard passes to Tatum over Williams. Tatum's shot is off. Memphis leading by five. Here's Jackson, and he gets the bucket. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. It's deflected. And now Williams running the floor all by himself. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Jason Tatum. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. At the line for two. Shoot two. So the first one drops, and that stretches their lead to eight. Second free throw, no good, a tough break there. Boston shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. It drops. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 
defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Robert Williams. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Williams. Two shots. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Smart's checked in. Trip coming up empty, missing both. Guys, a critical time for them in this ball game. Hey, you got to play mistake free. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Gill is checked in for Boston. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Up by five. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks, and now they decide to foul intention. Shooting for Memphis, Jared Jackson Jr. taking two shots. Shooting two. It's the first one, and that increases their lead to six. The second one is good. Getting both at the line. That's a seven-point game. It's yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there. And that will add to their lead. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by seven. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Pritchard. Stolen by Smart. Over in the corner, Williams. From the arc. The rebound by the Celtics. Disappointing day for them. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Outside, Dane. So it's Memphis picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got the sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. 
Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. The coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you. Um, every step of the way, it just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you. So. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.